on, eat it. When you're done, Uncle Shelping will buy you another one. Eat. Go on, eat. Eat. Go on. Xiaoping, why are there so many people? Is there a market fair today in Tongchen? Sister, you're normally at the Yawan and you don't get out too much. That's why you don't know. Every time it's payday, Tongchen becomes this busy. In the next few days, the number of people in the streets will multiply. You'll see miners with wads of renminbi pinned to their waist everywhere. <laughs> Look, even the provincial department stores have come here to set up temporary stalls because they can earn a lot over the next few days. This is also because time when public security in Tongcheng is at its worst. We'd better take good care of Ming Ming and watch her back too. Right. Pickpockets from surrounding areas come out in full force so that they can profit from hard-earned wages of miners even for a few days. Well, let me guess. The local police and the security bureau will be suffering from migraines these days. You bet they will. <sighs> Ma, dog, dog! Six, six, six. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Let's go look at puppies. Come on, look. Puppies. <laughs> Which one do you like, huh? The little black one, Uncle. The black this one. one? Wow. Yes. <laughs> this boy has a good eye. You know, this dog is really smart. If you want it, ask your mom to buy it for you. Brother, how much is that dog? Fixed price. 15 yuan. Uh, 15 it's still yuan. expensive. 15. All right, here, take it. Hey, hey! Why didn't you bargain, you silly boy? How can you not bargain when you buy things? 15 yuan is too expensive. 8 yuan. I'll take it for 8 yuan. But madam, that's really harsh. You're cutting it by half. Now listen, mister. This dog has shiny fur. I guarantee you it's not sick. 15 yuan is already a very brother, good price. You're mistaken here. She's my elder sister. I'm her younger brother, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm very sorry. I thought you were a couple. I'm really sorry. 8 yuan. Are you selling it? If not, we're leaving. Sister, it's too little. How about 10 yuan? You can have it at 10 yuan. Is that a deal? All right, we'll take it at 10 yuan. Go on, give it to him. We'll buy it. <laughs> Our Ming Ming is happy Here now, am I right? <laughs> Thank you so Great. much. Hey, take the dog. Here, carry it. Listen, you guys. So how long has Wang Xu's eye been gone? His body's still warm, and his widow can stand it already. <laughs> <laughs> if it's this bad, why don't you go try? <laughs> Me? Why would I try? I'll have to take a number. Besides, Xiao Ping's around. Xiao Ping's good, right? And he's got a reporter girlfriend. And that little widow whom he took in as well. Even the son is ready-made, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought no one could replace Ren Shikai as team leader. So Xiao Bing can fight, so he can be a good leader.
Xiaoping. I don't easily concede defeat to just anyone. And I've never yielded to anyone in my life. But today, I concede to you. How dare you say things like that to insult my sister and our deceased team leader? Do you know that our team leader died to save your life? If it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him, you would have been dead by now. Decided. Since our team leader is no longer here, I want to tell you. I want to take over. <laughs> I want to be the leader of our team. I know I don't have a lot of experience. Maybe even less than Ansoza. But please believe in me, I can lead them well. Xiaoping, you may not be aware of what's going on. Roughing up on Sousa has really helped you establish prestige among your colleagues at the mine. The fist and strength have always been respected by the miners. Those who can fight are capable and will be able to manage this group of rowdy guys. The cadres in our district and some of the team leaders all came about because of fighting. I've already recommended you to the management to be the team leader. Xiaoping, do a good job. I believe in you. Let's go watch a movie after dinner tonight. What do you say, little heroes? Martial arts movie, Is this gonna be a martial arts movie? I love martial arts movies. Xiaoping, come join us. I swear it's really good, very good. All right. <laughs> I'll be the leader of Team 2? Team 2 is a basket case. There are few senior workers. Most are contract workers. These contract workers are darn lazy and unhelpful. They refuse to do anything, you know. That's how it is with the contract workers. They sign a three-year contract with a coal mine, which means they work for three years, muddle through for three years, collect their wages, and hightail it back to their land to be peasants. That's why you can't fire them during those three years. In the end, there's barely a scratch on them. <sighs> they don't regard the mine as theirs at all. Ridiculous. No wonder Team 2 is a basket case. <sighs> Among contract workers, Team 2 is the worst of the lot. They don't do anything. They loaf around if they can. They're abusive, lawless brigands. During the busy farming season, they step over the line. They go home to harvest wheat. Can you believe that, Xiaoping? <clears throat> it's too much. The mine leader got so mad, he slapped the team leader in the face and fired him on the spot. Last month, they didn't even complete half the target. <sighs> Therefore, no current team leader is willing to become Team 2's team leader. I thought for a long time and feel that you're the best candidate for Team 2 leadership. Not only because you can fight, but mainly because you're educated. You're literate! What are you doing behaving so recklessly, huh? You... What? I heard the people saying that you're going to transfer Xiaoping, is that true? Yeah! I'm telling you. No way, Baldy! Well, that's the decision of the management! Uh, I don't care, I don't agree! Who do you think you are, Ansuza? What? I... What are you doing uh, here? What the heck do you want, uh, huh? Uh, you smuggler! Uh, uh, you have to understand me, boy. The person who can beat me hasn't been born yet, do you hear me? <laughs> What's 
wrong, huh? Why are you crying? Well, what do you think? They're going to break us up, man! What? Is it your bloody wife? That you can't be split? <gasps> I've only got one good friend in that show, Bing. It's like the two of us are from the same mother. With show Bing around, I don't get bullied and I enjoy my work. No one dares to trample on me. That's why he's top of my list. He can surely fight, and he has a sturdiness about him. He can manage this group of people. His transfer notice has already been posted on the board, okay? No! That can't be! You've boarded and nailed him! You're a man, why the heck are you crying? Stop, get lost! Mr. Lei, how about this? I'll move there, but transfer him too. A team leader transferring alone is pointless anyway. Without a good axe holder, I can't achieve my target either. Right, that's right, sir. Xiaoping, I'll go with you. You'll be the boss. I'll be your worker. <laughs> and now you're smiling. All right, we'll do as Xiaoping says. We'll appoint you as deputy team leader. Will that do? What? Deputy team leader? Why, you're not interested? Yes, I'm interested. You're such a crybaby, you know. <laughs> you're a man, sheesh. <laughs> Look at you guys, you can't even stand and sit properly. Yeah. Come here. Come on, get up. This is your new team leader, Sen Chaoping. He's a mean and tough fighter. I think few can match him. Let's see who among you dare act up in the future. We know. That's a guy who got kicked, right? Just look at him. Anyone can kick his butt. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? You want a piece of me? All right, let's go. I'll fix you real good. Enough, enough. You'll get a chance to kick his butt later. He's now your new deputy team leader. And Souza. He and your team leader will work together to fix you guys. Xiaoping, hit them with the meanest blows you can give. Anyone tries to be funny, set him straight. Okay. I still have a ton of things to do. I'll get going. Okay. Take them down into the mine later. Be careful! Okay. Wait. Why are some of you missing? We're five short, I think. Those guys, where are they? Say something! Are you all deaf? What? Cat got your tongue? It's useless. Give me the name list. Today, Deputy Team Leader will lead you down the mine. I'll go meet those who aren't here. <sighs> Let's go home. Brother, does Team 2 live here? Who are you? I don't know you. Oh. I'm new to Team 2, sir. I want to see the place. Here, have a cigarette. I don't smoke, thanks. Why are you guys in a hurry to pack? Because we're all going home. It's time for harvesting wheat in our fields. If you guys leave and others have to take up your tasks, won't they be unhappy? Who's going to be unhappy? Everyone's leaving. Those guys may look like they're working, but that's because their stuff is all packed. We've all agreed to leave tomorrow night. I was worried I'd be late. So I stayed in the dorm to pack my things. But if everyone leaves, what'll happen if the target is not achieved? <laughs> Brother, I can tell you're new here. You're taking this too seriously. We're all contract workers, and we'll return home as peasants in three years. We're just gonna muddle through to earn a bit. As long as the team leader doesn't notice, just manage your work and be done with it, okay? <laughs> You're pretty smart people. More calculative than Brother. me. Who are you anyway? I'm the new team leader of Team 2. Sen Xiaoping. Tomorrow night, no one is going to leave. <sighs> Who are you to say that no one... No one is going to leave tomorrow? How sure are you that they'll obey? For years, you see... Every time the wheat harvest comes around, half the workers are gone. They don't even come back. And this problem doesn't only involve the contract workers, even the regular miners do it. The leaders haven't been able to resolve this for years, so what trick do you have up your sleeve? Tell me. 
It's precisely because I don't have any tricks that I'm worried. If all the contract workers on our team leave, we'd be left with no one to go down into the mine. You know, for the coal mine production stoppage is like suspending the train service. This is something that shouldn't be allowed to happen. If our team can produce coal tomorrow, the leaders of the Bureau may be alerted. How can I not be worried? If it were up to me, I'll just fire them. Those people who don't want to work. That's that. Why don't you just fire them all? I'll fire them all? You think it's that simple? Half of them are contract workers. You won't fire half of the workforce? Yes, that's true. How will you fix this? Well, you have to harvest the wheat now that it's ripe, right? And you just can't let it all rot in the fields. Harvest wheat? Everyone knows that. There's a lot of labor at the homes of these contract workers, you know? They don't have to go home to harvest it personally. Actually, they're using it as an excuse to go home and live it up for a few days with the money they earn from working at the mine. Some go home to visit their wives. They know that with half the labor force gone, the mine can't possibly fire them all at the same time. The law cannot be enforced when everyone is an offender. So tell me, how will you deal with these buggers who earn their money here and go home and live it up? How are you going earn to fix money. this problem? That's right, earn money. Hey, where are you going? To find district supervisor, to find Lei Han Yi. I must get him to issue the document tonight. Well, today, many among you here will be going down into the mine for the last time and then leave for two months. Isn't that right? Yesterday, I talked with some of you who didn't show up for work. They said many among you will be going home after you finish your shift at the mine today and won't be back for two months, am I right? Well, you see, I am going to tell you guys in today's meeting that before you leave for home, you have to leave your money here. Sir Xiaoping. What do you mean by that? Well, it's not my decision. It's the mine's new rules. Didn't you know that? What? Here, I'll show you. This is the new policy that was just issued by District Supervisor Lei. You didn't know? Shall I read it? Yes, read it. Okay, I'll read it. Listen up and listen good. The mine's new policy on contract workers. Those who leave the mine and authorized for one to three days will be fined five U1 per day. For four to six days, demoted one grade for half a year without variable pay. For seven to nine days, demoted one grade for half a year without variable pay. That's not true. That's unacceptable. Everyone, be quiet. Let me finish first. Assuring your work attendance, frontline mining staff who show up for work down in the mine will receive a bonus of three U1. Frontline Category 2 staff who go down in the mine for work, a bonus of 2 yuan. Those who return to work on schedule after their vacation has ended and are not absent will be treated as normal attendants. Those who meet the bonus requirements among them will be given an equivalent of 50% bonus. Signed October 5, 1982, the Yawan Coal Mine. Well, that's it. Questions? Uh, no, 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 no. Don't waver, okay? I think it'll work. No way. What? I think so. Some of you are still not satisfied? Still unhappy, are you? Well, let me tell you all this. It was I who proposed this policy. You want to leave? Fine. But leave all your money behind. You don't have to wait until tonight. You can leave now. Leave or stay? What? No one's leaving? Good, then listen up and listen good. I appreciate all of you for staying at the coal mine to work. As your team leader, I only have one request. I want production results! Any monkey business by anyone in any part of the production process, I tell you, will not escape me. Technicians who act up and refuse to work okay, you don't want to work, fine. I'll be the one to do it! When we return above ground, I won't submit your work hours. That means you would have worked for free, is that clear? As for manual workers who try to evade their responsibility, sure. I'll just give you more work at the coal debris. Don't even think about going back until your job is done. I have a ton of tricks up my sleeve to deal with you. But if you do your job properly, I will definitely not mistreat any one of you. You can have my word on that. And should everything happen at the tunnel face, without a doubt, I'll be first in line. And I will work even harder than you guys and be better than any one of you. Is that clear, my brothers? Yes, yes sir. sir. 
Okay, then let's all go down now. Come on, let's go. Get to work, get to work, yeah, hurry up! Please. Time stand still for no man! Everyone, hurry! Let's go! Quickly support the base! Keep it steady, keep it stable! On, hurry up! Go faster! Support the base some more! <laughs> Xiaoping, you're good, you've done me proud, you manage everyone quite well! Look, the newspaper run by the Bureau has written an article on our break at the mining site! It even urged other mines to follow our example. How awesome can it get? Tongchang Mining Bureau Chief said at a teleconference to all mines, hold on, what's this? How do you say this? The Bureau Chief commanded us... Thunderously, sir. <laughs> good, good, good. We've been commended. I'm ecstatic right now. Tell me, Xiaoping, what reward do you want, huh? I don't want any reward, sir. Oh. But I would like to apply for a two-day leave. You haven't gone on vacation in a while since you got here. Okay, I'll give you two days leave and it will be considered as an additional reward and will be treated as attendance with pay. It won't affect your year-end leave. What do you say? Thank you, Mr. Lei. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you going to visit Miss Chen? Oh, come on. Yeah? My sister is in the capital too. I want to visit her. All right, go ahead. I will ask no more. Thanks again, no. Mr. Lei. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, come in. Secretary Tian, mm -hmm. the Provincial Party Committee Office has sent a notice that a Vice Premier would come to conduct an inspection. Here it is. A Vice Premier is coming, and a Deputy Director of the State Planning Commission, a Vice Minister of Agriculture, Animal Husbandry and Fishery, a Deputy Director of the State Rural Development Research Center in Gaobuzie. A central government leader coming here for an inspection is, I'm afraid, considered a major event for our prefecture. We should immediately adjust our current work direction and make plans to receive them. Mister, show me your ticket. I'm talking to you. What's the matter? I ain't never seen that Oh, hello. Hi. Comrade Shangmin. How Secretary do you do? Tian, you're here. <laughs> I'm fine. How do you fine, do? Fine. Hello. You've received many government leaders during your time. Your presence makes us feel a lot more confident. <laughs> Secretary Tian. The Vice Premier will fly directly from Beijing to Huang Yuan Airport on a private plane. Secretary Xia will arrive in Huang Yuan tomorrow. Board, lodging, transport, inspections and discussions, everything must be in place. Mm. No problem, comrade. You're an expert in this field. I'm sure all arrangements you make will be planned systematically, right? <laughs> <laughs> This city is so big. Standing where he was at the moment, Xiaoping felt like a falling leaf, small and insignificant, and somewhat lost. Excuse me. What do you want? I'm looking for Tian Xiaoxia. Tian Xiaoxia? Yes. She's in the industry team. Let me call her first, okay? Please register here. All right, thank you.
Tian Xiao Xiao went on a business trip. Brother! Hey, Lan Shang. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, I'm waiting for your classes to end. What else? <laughs> Oh, why didn't you tell me? I could have gone to pick you up. What's to pick up? Come here. Let me look at you. My Lan Shang is a university student now. Your disposition has changed indeed. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother. Oh, brother. Um, hello. I'm Wu Chong Piang. Hi, nice meeting you. The two of you are... We're in the same class. Oh. Lan Shang. You're all grown up now, and you didn't tell me you have a boyfriend. Oh, come on, brother. Why, you little... Brother, have you had lunch? Huh? How about we all go eat first? We don't have classes this afternoon. After lunch, we can show your brother around the provincial capital. Great. No, thanks. Don't bother, okay? That's a good okay? idea, brother. I'll ask Sin Cho to come with us. Yes, brother. Of course, let sure, okay. <laughs> hey, it's all right. I'll carry no, it no, myself. No, no, carry no. it for you. It's come okay, on, really. <laughs> What's so funny, hmm? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, come on. I tell you, the two of you are girl on either side holding on to me. I feel awkward. Brother Xiaoping, you have two pretty girls holding on to you. Don't feel awkward. That's right. No. I mean, it's like this, okay? I look like a guy with two girlfriends here. It's embarrassing. <laughs> you should see the look in people's eyes. What's wrong with the way they're looking? Doesn't this make me a playboy? <laughs> so, you see you're all grown up and a young lady now. You can't cling to me all the time like you were still a kid. Your boyfriend is here. My brother Xiaoping, don't worry about young men. He won't get jealous of you. He always tells me he admires you. He's admired you ever since high school. Really? Mm-hmm. Did he even tell you why he admired me? Oh, I know. Your young mean was beaten up once, and my brother protected him from the bullies. Oh, really now? He didn't tell you? He didn't. <laughs> I was... Oh, here they are. <laughs> so Pen. Hey, you look amused. Did you say anything nasty about me? Young man, you're so adorable. Adorable? I don't think that is a term to describe men now, is it? Right? <laughs> Class me, son Xiaoping. We haven't seen each other since your last reunion at Wang Yuan, am I right? You mustn't expose my flaws in front of my girlfriend now. I wouldn't dare expose my former supervisor's flaws, <laughs> I swear. But let me swap hats for now because I have something to tell you. Sho is my younger sister. You must treat her nicely. If you mistreat her, I will deal with you myself. Don't worry. I'll treat San Sho well. I'll treat her very well. <laughs> All right, we've rented a boat. Let's go rowing. Let's go? Come on. Let's go rowing. Okay. Taking a turn in the park and relaxing occasionally can be really refreshing. Normally when I ask you to come with me, you refuse. You spend most of the time dating in the lab. Other people's love is sweet and romantic, while our love is filled with nothing but the smell of Lysol, you know? I think love smelling like Lysol isn't really that bad, is it? <laughs> it's special. <laughs> Normally I have a ton of study assignments, so I can't go out with you a lot. But I really want to see you, okay? That's why I can only get to date you at the laboratory. Still, Xiaoping's here today. So all important matters take a back seat. I must go meet my old classmate. Of course you must come to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lan Sheng and Zhang Ping seldom come out as well, am I right? Brother Xiaoping, you're absolutely right. Most of the time Wu Chong Ping and Lang Sheng are holed up in the library. <laughs> You two little bookworms. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you should come out more often too. I think these days visiting the zoo, rowing a boat on the lake in this park, and a lot more have become a mandatory gesture of city dwellers when it comes to receiving family and friends, isn't it? That's right. Brother, it's all thanks to you that we can come outside and get some fresh air, even for a little bit. <laughs> well, as it should be. You know, I feel refreshed too today. Look around you. It's such a wonderful environment and accompanied by your most intimate friends. And, as we always say at Chuangshui Village, 
is simply marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know that that trouser of yours is. Brother, why are you staring at other people's trousers? No, Lan Shan, you also have very long legs. If you wear jeans like Zhou, I'm sure you'd look great too. You really should try wearing it. That's right, Lan Shan. I'm sure you look nice in jeans too. But I have never worn jeans in my life. See, Brother Xiaoping and Brother Yang Min have said so. Brother Xiaoping, I bought her jeans the last time, but she was too embarrassed to wear it. My goodness! Since he bought you jeans, you should wear them, Lan Shang. Huh? You look very nice in them. But hold on. When you go back to Shuangshui Village, don't wear them. I'm sure our grandma and father, not to mention other people in the village, would surely flip out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we all sing a song, yes? I don't know how to sing any contemporary songs. As for songs of the past, I know just one song. And it's called as Rodeo's. What do you say? That couldn't be more appropriate. <laughs> oh my. But you don't realize, do you, that one of yours sings a little off key. <clears throat> no wonder I've never heard Xiaoping sing since I was a little kid. It's because he sings off key, isn't that right? <laughs> Classmate Gu Yang Min, former supervisor. You shouldn't behave like that. You should look at people from a development perspective. Hey, I've been practicing. I don't sing off key anymore. From a development perspective, huh? Okay, then give us a pitch. Fine, I'll start with the song. <clears throat> Definitely improve. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I forgot to sing again. <laughs> Brother, what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. Perhaps I have worked down in the coal mine for too long. Every time I close my eyes, I would see that pitch black world down under. With that churning conveyor belt and the bent, reinforced steel beams, men's trip to their waists also continues to flash in front of my eyes. Xiaoping, I think that you're under too much stress. Would you like me to speak to my father to transfer you to the provincial capital? No thanks. Although life down in the coal mine is as different as night and day from this, it's still life. This pain in life is also some sort of happiness, actually. In fact, it's precisely because I'm used to a miner's life that I'm afraid I'd find it difficult to adapt in a good environment. <laughs> Suffering can also mean happiness. That's right. Happiness, or should I say, the meaning of life doesn't really lie in what we do. My life at the coal mine is ordinary and hard. But living within it, and through it, I truly experience happiness. I'm happy for all of you for the blissful life you enjoy, but at the same time, I also feel very proud of my hard life. <sighs> Let's not talk about such a heavy subject. Hey, how about we continue our singing? All of hey. you can sing well. <laughs> all right, let's sing then. Please them properly. Pay attention to hygiene. Oh, Secretary Tseng, I was thinking of serving Secretary Xiao a carton of this liquor. Secretary Tian, no serving of liquor. Transgressions are not allowed. The central government stipulates we can't serve delicacies and liquor. We won't serve any delicacy, but this liquor can still be served later. I'll explain to the Vice Premier that this is our local Huang Yuan specialty. Consider this as my kind intention. No, no way. If the senior cadre loses his temper, we'll be in serious trouble. 
No problem. I'll just place it there. I won't open it. Oh, we'll just let him see it. Consider this an advertisement for Wang Yuan. <laughs> Secretary Chen, you never miss an opportunity to promote Wang Yuan County, do you? <laughs> I don't have a choice. My Wang Yuan is poor. Still poor? You've only been in office for a year, but black buns have become white now. <laughs> We've only solved food and clothing issues. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How do you do, Vice Premier? Uh, please. Good. Please. Come, please. everyone. Come, Come on. Have a seat. Take your seats. Uh, uh, Mr. Gao, have a seat. Uh, please take your please. seats, everyone. Sit down. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wang Yuan County. Makes liquor too, Mr. Tian. Oh, this is a type of baizu we produce in Wangyuan. It's famous in the province and sells quite well too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll make an exception today. Let's have a glass of Wangyuan liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Mr. Gao, try some too. Mmm. It's really quite good. Ah, uh, a little like Shi Feng style. But the thing is, it's silkier than Shi Feng. <laughs> <laughs> what will we be doing after this meal? After this meal, we'll visit a small coal mine in a mountainous village, sir. We'll mm. also take a look at the peasants' four farming methods. Four farming methods? Ah, this is Huang Yuan's experience. The four farming methods are farrow cultivation, parallel ditch cultivation, intercropping, and biological fertilizing of fields. These experiences have been rolled out across the whole province. Mmm. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's have a glass of Wang Yuan liquor. Let's <laughs> cheers. 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 Okay. cheers. Brother, have some water. Mm. Thank you. Lan Shang? You can go to your class now, okay? Very well. Don't worry, I'll leave in a bit. I'll visit you more often in the future. <sighs> Great. Brother, have you seen Sister Shaosha yet? When she came to visit me last time, she gave me 50 yuan and a brand new skirt. She said you asked her to bring them to me, but I know that they're from her. You know what? This was something Shaosha didn't write to tell me. <laughs> in any case, with her to take care of you here, I wouldn't be so worried. I probably won't get to see her this time. She's gone away on a business trip. Shang? Someone's downstairs looking for you! All right, coming! Brother, I go have to ahead. go take a look. Xiaoping! <sighs> Why are you here? Anyway, does my sister know? Oh my. Well, Lan Cheng made it to university and I've heard about it. I've been really busy, terribly busy that time, you know. So I wasn't able to make it. <laughs> well, I've just returned. But I haven't gotten home yet. Your sister doesn't know. Have you eaten already? Yes. I ate a lot just now. <laughs> As your brother-in-law. I may not be capable, but I can at least fill my tummy. Get up. Why are you here? I mean... I mean, didn't Lan Cheng make it to the university? I feel very honored, too. I'll get going now. I still have to go to Lan Zhu tonight to bring in melons. I'll get going. Oh, Xiaoping, I heard you're working at a coal mine in Tangchang, is that true, huh? Wow, that's good, that's good. Uh, oh, Lan Cheng, this is for you. This thing is really good, look. The functions are quick and effective. One plus one equals two. Take it. You can take it back. We don't use that here. 
<sighs> Brother-in-law will keep it for you then. I'll go ahead. <sighs> Study hard, okay? Be careful of the mine shop. Be, be careful. I'm going now. He saw you were here. That's why he left in a hurry. He knows that you might really hit him. I mean, why is he like that? What kind of man is he? The harm he has done to Maldan and Gordon. I tell you, if this wasn't your dorm, I'd punch him already. Don't be angry, brother. Let's not lower ourselves to his level, okay? You're right. It's not worth getting mad at him. Lanshan, go to your class now. I'm leaving. What? You're leaving already, Xiaoping? Please stay a little longer. Xiaoxia and I will be celebrating our second anniversary. It's just around the corner. I have to go back to work to earn more vacation leaves. 